Hello, welcome back to another video. So we've just finished our lawn care setup for 2022. Right now it's the middle of January and I've just pulled up at the back grandstand entrance of York Racecourse. Because I thought it'd be pretty quiet here. I mean, I learned to reverse on my driving test round here, so it's normally a pretty forgiving place. So. Right, let's take a look. Right in the middle, we've got our two um, hater lawnmowers. We've got the Harrier Pro 41 and the 48, which is the two mowers that we take out um, daily. Garden attachments, the hoe and the weed pull push, uh, which is actually quite a handy tool. And um, that's the larger version. They can get a slightly smaller one, but the larger ones seem to work quite well. Uh, two handles, both on these little um, clips, which work pretty well. And just a couple of different types of anvil cutters. Um, a couple of reasons for them being there, which we'll get into in a second. I've also got the um, on the wall, the, the larger wolf garden um, attachments, uh, poles rather. So, design the system whereby you just pull it out and lift up much, much easier than trying to pull because if you have full extension trying to pull it out of a clip, it could be, could be quite um, painful in your lower back. So, just to make it a little bit easier into the rest, and that way you don't have to um, bend over or anything. Moving on towards the inside, I've got the uh, Wolf Garten loppers, which we use fairly regularly. Pretty good, pretty good system actually. I've got some um, Nawaki, um, not the actual name of them, but the Nawaki shears, and just brilliant if you just want to do a little bit of kind of neat pruning if you're doing like potches laurels or something. Uh, very very handy for that. We've got the ego trimmer which we've mounted on the wall with um, these brackets, which are really good actually. So what I did was beforehand, I took all this panelling off and there's some strengthening struts just behind, just so we can, um, I know it's not heavy, but I just wanted to make sure that the ply line job wasn't gonna start to bow after a little while. We've got the um, strummer cable, which I've mounted onto a, a bike bracket, which I just got from Melvins, which is, um, Really good actually, I'm really pleased how this turned out. It's a neat little cubby hole that I found it's found it in, so all you need to do is just get your extension reel and then your cutters are right there. So dead simple if you want to get. We also use a speed feed head on the ego, so it's um yeah, ultra efficient. And the last little bit just around here is just this um fuel area so I cut out a bit of shed felting just to absorb any spillages or um, obviously just got normal normal wedded and then this is a pre-mixed bottle of um, uh, with the pre with the pre-mixed oil in it um, which these are really good these um, I got it from Screwfix for like five quid and it's the exact same size tank has all the um, still like pet trimmers and blowers and so yeah you basically just it's one full tank so as soon as you empty out you just em empty that strip off so I only need to carry one because I don't only I only have the um, the R600 so just on this back bit we've got a dump bag which you just keep within um, the bungee straps so you know I can add a couple more if I wanted to and then just a tarpaulin if I've got some waste in this area here just put it on the floor and stop on the ply line getting sodden and it's just yeah or, or I'll take it to a job and do some hedge trimming on some like decorative stones and stuff so we move on to the BR600 which is the backpack blower which you take out all the time and to be honest, I, and obviously you can get racks and stuff for them, but realistically they're quite heavy and once you've had like, you're taking it out like 15 times in a day, 
it's probably going to end up on the floor. So I was like, well, I might as well just build it on the floor as it is. So just a couple of pieces of wood and then just that. I'm going to call it a retaining strap, but that's probably a little bit posh. It's basically a bungee cord. And that just, whoa, goodness me. And that just keeps it nice and in place. Just like that. So I've just put this solid bar in all the way across and it's just for the haters to roll up to and that's kind of to stop them falling forward and then obviously securing them on the top as you saw when we first opened the doors with bungee straps. Okay so I'll just talk you through this side so we've got the Wolfgang fan rake um, I've just pushed it out a little bit from the wall just to stop um, or just make sure it doesn't catch you in the eye. I guess it's a potential it's just a brake attachment We've got the Ego Combi, got all the attachments, but I don't think we have it every single day. Uh, the Edger I might take out in March when I'm doing some of the bed reading mining. But realistically, day to day, I don't need it. So I've just got the uh, the long reach hedge, well, it's not, it's the um, longer reach hedge trimmer um, by Ego, which just in case somebody comes wants like a a really quick hedge trimming job. I just I want to carry it every single day, and you know I like to use them anyway. I don't really like to use the shorter ones if I can help it. Um, I, I like that one because you can critique your work as you're doing it. I just I find them a lot more easier to use. And then we've got this tub just for um, gloves and bits and pieces. This is currently got like real warm winter gloves in there at the moment. These are really good actually, that's why they're expensive, but they're very, very valued. Um, world's smallest litter picker. To be honest, it's just, we have a hotel um, areas, which is kind of by a roadside, and it's just an absolute wind tunnel just for rubbish, and it's, it's really specifically for that. We do have a couple of other commercial sites, but yeah, it's just predominantly for that. And the leaf grabbers, which are just absolutely incredible. And the first year I've used these, and yeah, I just think they're amazing. And yeah, so I've just put them here just so they're in close proximity to the back, because this is probably where, you know, like the, on a wet day, the mower will kick out like debris from underneath, or it's just usually that I would have thought the cleaning process would probably need to be here. So uh, yeah, that's why it's been mounted there. So a couple of things I wanted to make sure that we delivered when we started designing this van myself and colleagues and that was I didn't want to have to go into the van at any point every single thing that I wanted because it's got the dual door open on the front of this I wanted to make sure that everything could be reached really really simply just by leaning into the van I also wanted to make sure that everything was kind of in a relevant area so if you've got a Wolfgang attachment on this door you know the pole shouldn't be too far away the worst thing would be to walk around to another door. If you want to learn a bit more about that, I do have another video on the 5S system that we set up on this van, which is a previous video. I'll link it in the description. It's pretty good. And then on the other door is just the selection of Wolfgarten attachments, which we use fairly regularly. Um, yeah, like the weeding knife, and that's for scraping in and out uh, in the corners of patios and. Um, and slabs and stuff, which is pretty good actually, use it quite a lot. Scraper just in case, and yeah, just all conveniently located to that door there, which has got all your different attachments on it. So currently it doesn't have any form of PPE or apparel that you'd wear, so like uh, air defenders and tops. Uh, I guess gloves is the only thing that uh, is in the back of the van. That's just because I'm keeping everything at the moment in the, in the cab. And I will move a couple of things to the back, I think, as we kind of progress through the season. But I just want to make sure that kind of the workwear is kind of where the people sit at the moment. And, you know, I'm not, probably will change that in the future, but I just don't want to overcomplicate it at, um, at the, yeah, the earliest stage. Let's have one last look around and then we'll back up and go. <laughs>
So that was my lawn care setup for 2022. I'm curious to know if you think there's anything that I'm going to regret not taking with me. If you could put that in the comments, that'd be. I'd love to. I'd love to have a look because I've racked my brain, and I reckon that's probably the majority of stuff that I need on my regular maintenance round. And obviously, you know, different areas and different types of businesses will use different. Um, bits of equipment but I'm just curious to know if you think that I've missed anything out and um, if there's anything that you thought was particularly um, good let me know and if there's anything that you think um, I could improve on again please let me know you know let's try and share some ideas um, thanks for watching um, like and subscribe if you haven't already um, really I really do appreciate every subscriber um, it's a fairly new channel it just helps it grow and uh, yeah I shall see you in the next one thanks for watching guys cheers bye